Today I am at Awada School. Over 3,000 children come here. Um, we've got one of our most successful children's donkey clubs here and um, our aim is pester power with parents so that we can get the message out to all the villagers that beating donkeys and overworking them isn't, isn't the greatest thing. Donkey club members learn about basic animal welfare from our outreach expert. They've made their own model donkey to use in the lessons. He's encouraging them to think more about the lives of donkeys. And today there's even a bit of psychology. It's all part of changing attitudes. Why do people communicate so badly when they're trying to work with animals? Healthcare and other key messages are given first to the donkey club members, then they spread the ideas to other children. This pantomime is a fun way of encouraging empathy. What's it like working as hard as you can and still being beaten? It doesn't help a donkey get more work done. Most of these children's families won't have running water, let alone a car or truck to carry anything around in. But many will have a donkey to help with physical work, and they'll take home ideas about valuing and caring for it. Abraham's family donkey even helps earn his school fees. <laughs> So, have the lessons made a difference to the donkey's life? It's been a real eye-opener coming today to see how the children are engaging with the donkey welfare work that we're doing. Um, and, you know, children like Abraham are going home to their parents and pestering them to look after their donkeys better, and that can only be a good thing.